Hello again, YouTubers on with SpongeBob101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel. Today we have part 20 of our SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated playthrough video series if you have yet to check out parts 1 through 19. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description box below as well as in the iCards um, on the top right of the screen. So anyway, um, in the last video, part 19, we completed our adventure down Guppy Hill. Or, uh, sorry, not Guppy Hill. A flounder. What was it even called? Um, flounder Hill, yes, correct. Okay, so it's Flounder Hill. Uh, we still have three more socks to collect uh, in this level, so we have to look out for them in part or in, in this area in Sand Mountain. So, without further ado, let's pay 1500 shiny objects. And let's head up to Sand Mountain. So it's kind of strange because the general area is called Sand Mountain and then the final slope is called Sand Mountain. Hey, Sandy! Howdy, Larry! Okay, so first up, I assume we have to... Um, change to Spongebob in order to, well, um, you know, do the time challenge with Larry. So, without further ado, I'm actually going to just um, save up here. I'm gonna save, wait a minute. Save up here. And then we're actually gonna go down the slide um, a couple times. I'm gonna try to get the socks as well as the first spatula, so the one without the time challenge. So without further ado, let's do this. Here. Okay, so very windy path. Um, you know, you notice there, there is a oh, there's a sock right here. Well, awesome. So, um, we got the first sock. In this course. And then, of course, we still have like sponsor from the Buddy Krusty Krab, a uh, 199 Krabby Patty Hits. So darn. Okay, all right. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna just hit down the slopes again, and uh, hopefully, you know, this time we'll be able to get on that little bouncy thing over there. I'm taking the lower uh, route this time. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, and yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any extras that we missed. So anyway, uh, continuing here. Now I'm gonna start like trying to collect more shiny objects uh, whenever possible because um, we will need to, you know, hand them over to crabs in Bikini Bottom to get like uh, our remaining spatulas at the end of the game. So okay. Whoa. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to get up. Yeah, there's a sock right up there, I think. Oh well. Okay, so um, anyway, let's just these. continue down the slope first. Um, so we now know the location of the ninth sock. So we just have to look out for one more. Um, and that sock, I have no idea where it is. <laughs> we had to find out, okay? So, uh, here. Whoa. So like sandball we're just smashing up the path. There as well. That is whoa, whoa, whoa. That was so random. Uh, just the sandballs just coming right in. Uh but anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Hopefully we do get- yeah, okay, phew, that was a close one. Um, I'm not sure which way to go. Uh, okay, so this way doesn't have anything significant, I think. Yeah, okay, so continue on this slope. Okay, and then down here. So yeah, it seems like a three-prong slope there. Whoa, we just fell to our death. <laughs> okay. Okay, 
Okay, let's go down this time. Um, and then continue here. And yeah, so there's some like random ads as well, like you hit to rock bottom, bikini bottom. And uh, these advertisements, like those little billboards that you see, were in the original game as well, so I'm glad they brought it back. I'm not exactly sure if they are the exact same graphics or if they redrew them, but regardless, always cool to see. So uh, we are now at the bottom of the slope, so let's get our guaranteed golden spatula first. Charm. And then the button is pressed, as well as the second one over here. Take that! For a moment there, I thought there was going to be like a sand avalanche or something. So here we have the golden spatula. Let's get it. Fifty-two golden spatulas. Awesome. Okay. So now that we are down here, um, let's see, am I missing anything? No, okay, I'm not missing anything right now here. Um, let's open up this teleport box and head back up the slope. Alright, so we are back up here at the uh, start at the top of the hill. Now I'm gonna, um, you know, do the time challenge as the last thing we do in this video. First, I want to go get the 9 soft that we saw earlier. So, um, just get down these slopes again. The, the good thing about Sandy is that you can sort of save the save it or save the run at least because she can lasso back onto the track, which is always great. There's a poster for Plankton there, probably the Chum Bucket, the Shady Shoals as well, and of course sponsored by the Crusty Crab again, one ninety nine. Okay, so over here. I'm gonna hook this, and then over here, I'm gonna land here. You have to over over to this other platform. Buzz off, you little pest. Yeah! Okay, and then one more platform. As you can see, there is a sock there. Awesome. Let's just We're get messing that. Texas. Fifty-four really socks. Awesome. Socks. Okay, now back onto the slide. The change in music there is so abrupt, but you know, maybe they could have like made it fade in or like fade out and fade in or something. Uh, but they clearly didn't. So um, we went down the lower one earlier, so let's do this one, the, the upper path. Now these falling sand thingies, the falling sand is a uh, kind of like a remnant of um, oopsie. Yeah, it's a remnant of. Um, the original Sand Mountain, as well as something we saw in uh, the Spongebob movie game in level 5 when Spongebob and Patrick were going through the desert and all that. Uh, there were falling sand mounds as well, is that what you call it? Um, I have no idea, comment in the box below, what are those falling sand thingies called? You can, see, you can actually see a seat on the ski lift over there earlier. Well, that's all for pretty. So, yeah. Well, that was a oh darn. Okay, let's try to get an okay. Phew, that was a close one. So then this is the part where the sand balls just break up the path like nobody's business. Okay, and then over here, I assume it's yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay, um, heading down. Now there is going to be a fork um, in the path again. So let's see here. I did go up the upper path, so now let's head down the lower one. Okay, and then we are over here. And we are down. Okay, so I'm going down the lower path again, and then up here, smash right through, or not. <laughs> okay, and down the slope. 
I gotta say, I think the coolest thing is that um, my favorite slope in Sand Mountain is Sand Mountain because you have these amazingly epic jumps that are frankly quite amazing. So yeah, um, comparatively I prefer the Sand Mountain track, but yeah. So I did not find the remaining sock, so I have to go look it up. Um, yeah, I think I'll just pause the video real quick, I'll go look it up, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I managed to figure out that it turns out that if you did see the um, little uh, button that we actually pressed in one of the earlier runs of Sand Mountain, um, that actually activates a sand ball or snowball, whatever you're gonna call it. Alright guys, so um, I'm actually back up here. I did manage to find out where the last remaining sock is. It's actually um, a place that we kind of um, ignored earlier. And that would be where the button, um, you know, where we got the sock on the platform, the elevated platform by lassoing over. Um, yeah, basically on that slope itself, there is a button that activates a sand ball which will create a tunnel or so of some sort where the final sock is. So let's go over there, let's pick it up, and be on our way. Okay, so it's right over here. And over here, you gotta press this little button. So you gotta follow this um, little sand ball. and it literally just goes along the path, creates a little tunnel over there, and that's where we need to go. Okay, so this is a new tunnel. We haven't gone through here before. It's a spiral down, and here we have the sock. There we go, 55 socks. Awesome, I think I'm just gonna like complete this, this course anyway. Might as well, since we're already doing it. So first, let's go over and um, change over back to Spongebob so we can start the time challenge. Oh, in fact, we don't really need to do anything because we're changed back to Spongebob. I'm the fastest there is. My time down this slope is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. Okay, so we're gonna press A to accept the time challenge. We are given 120 seconds. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly save the game just so we do keep that uh, sock. I mean, either way, we will be keep keeping the sock, so it doesn't really matter. We have 10 out of 10 socks. Okay, let's like go. Spring breeze. Route, um, I think it's the optimal one, and uh, we should be able to beat this time challenge. I actually tried this route uh, once, or twice actually, uh, once of which I almost beat it, but of course, since uh, this is the, well, the set of footage that I kept in a video, um, I filled in the other one, right? So, so up here, this is the next thing, as you saw the random pause earlier. This game does have a lot of, um, I mean not necessarily a lot, but a significant number of issues that just make gameplay kind of random it's not so in, in a sense it's not really perfect gameplay to be honest um, I like the game but um, I, I will actually be doing a review video of this uh, Spongebob battle for Bikini Bar Rehydrate once I do complete this playthrough um, so if you guys are interested in that I'll do stay tuned for that but just a um, random thought about this game is you know I really appreciate that they remade it um, but of course there are a lot of bugs and I, I noticed that THQ Nordic on their Twitter page they put out a link to um, submit bug reports and I think that is a, a good thing by them it's uh, responsible and uh, you know tries to help figure out some of these little quirks uh, that players have been experiencing so hopefully it all works out um, but one thing I the only thing I really don't like about this game and in fact I'm just gonna say it right out um, so you guys don't have necessarily have to watch the review video is the multiplayer mode. Now I haven't shown the multiplayer mode on camera, but before we continue, we are at the finish. 
Awesome. And we, we die, but it's okay. It doesn't matter because we got it, guys. Finally. Um, this is my, like, I think 11th attempt. So I really suck at these time challenges. But anyway, anyways, uh, we just respawn here. Let's get back up to You've just met the spawn the top of the hill. Yeah, and I think the multiplayer mode is one of, in fact, the only really, the main thing that I find really terrible about this game. But before we continue, 53 golden spatulas. Awesome. Okay, so let's uh, head back to Bikini Bottom. As you can see here, now we have everything from Sand Mountain. Let's head back over to Bikini Bottom. And uh, we'll be positioning ourselves for the next part. Part 21, where we will be entering the Industrial Park to take on our second main boss battle, Robot Patrick. Um, but as I was talking about the multiplayer, um, I did try the multiplayer uh, with another person and uh, it was kind of lame to be honest. The sceneries and all were nice but the first thing is I realized you cannot change the music. Um, the music is that of rock bottom which is quiet, dull, um, and a little bit scary but if they had allowed you to use like other boss battle music like uh, you know from Robot Sandy or even um, use music from every other stage that you've unlocked so far I think that would have been a really good um, thing to do I'm not sure if they can patch it in or something um, so that is my first suggestion and the second suggestion is there are 26 levels uh, 26 islands in the multiplayer if I'm not wrong and it's so repetitive all you do in the multiplayer is literally just defeat robots and once you defeat them all uh, after the 26th island you get nothing yeah so you're essentially just destroying robots which is to be honest kind of lame and i'm not sure really who's too interested in uh, replaying the multiplayer stage for some reason or another uh, maybe you guys like it but i find it super lame um and yeah, you know, I was kind of expecting something different when they did say like, oh, we're bringing some cut content back. They literally just put it in uh, the multiplayer, which was very well, uh, very poorly executed, which was really a disappointment. Anyway, uh, we have our goal here, 40 golden spatulas, and that is met. So it says press R to travel to the industrial park. Um, yeah, so in part 21, that is exactly what we will be doing. And in part 22, we will be exploring uh, this area hidden by this area of Bikini Bottom hidden behind this gantry. So do stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep right here on Autonomous SpongeBob 101. And I'll see you guys in the next SpongeBob video.